Hi all, Peter back again. Today I'm down at Cape Hillsborough again and I'm going to walk around back around to Paradise Falls. I uh, filmed this about well seven months ago but uh, today I'm going to go around there and stay the night. Just going to set up a hammock and camp, camp tonight and then come back again in the morning about well, this time which is early but just after seven o'clock in the morning. I'm going to try out a hammock to sleep in, it's been known to me, so I just want to see, see what it's like. The only downside with today is this afternoon we're supposed to get thunderstorms. How bad we get them here I don't know, uh, if, I, if we get them here I don't know, so we're just going to have to find out when the time comes. So I'm going to put my backpack on again and uh, start walking. We'll be walking over over to this point over here, up over the uh, up over it, and then uh, follow the beach around. I came down early this morning because it's low tide about uh, half past eight, and I wanted to get around here on low tide. It's only a short walk, it's only a couple of hours, but I'll get around on low tide, and tomorrow I'll come back early on low tide again. Beautiful day, pity there wasn't a bit of breeze, a bit more breeze. Nice blue sky, hardly a cloud, you wouldn't think it's going to be thunderstorming this afternoon. This sea's dead flat. That's a creek that I've followed, I've followed up before, I've shown, shown you that creek on other YouTubes. You just have to walk across rocks to get to get across. Uh, it's all been uh, silted up through the strong winds and high tides we've had over recent. Must have brought sand in. This sand here looks like it's it's uh, convexed. So it's higher where I'm standing than down where the water is, which would be right. It also looks uh, lower over this side over here. That creek's going to take a little bit of water to, to bring the creek back to where it used to be. All the little soldier crabs have been digging away in the high tide. Well, I nearly finished the, with the soft sand, now we're getting into the coarse sand. That'll, and uh, that'll be just about it for the rest of the uh, trip. We'll be walking over rocks. What I've got out of those uh, lava volcanic rock rocks and back into normal rocks at, at the moment till we get over this point around the corner and then we'll get back into big rocks again. It's just been easy, easy travelling so far, hasn't been too bad, a bit hot when I came down in the car it was 26 degrees and uh, today it's basically up to about 33 degrees which isn't you know, over the top, but it is getting warm, I can feel it, I'm sweating a bit. But as long as I've got enough water for two days, I'm, I'll be happy. Or actually it's 24 hours, I'll be back this way at about the same time. 
No, I'll keep on going and get up to this. Well, that's centre, centre peak there, that's an island. Then we turn off just before that. The cicadas making their noise. Well, I've got to claw my way up, up through here, up to the top. I'm going to put the camera away to do that because it's hard enough getting up there with, without 20 kilos on your back, uh, let alone with a backpack on. So I'll get to the top and uh, I'll do a bit more filming up there, show you the nice ocean, nice flat ocean. Well, I got to the top of the of this uh, section, pretty steep and uh, took me a few a few uh, stops to get up here. That's just just a nice area. As I said, the sea nation is just dead flat, dead calm and clean. You gotta get down and I'll be walking walking along along this section here later. Like it's easy enough to get around. Yeah, the tide's low, should be like pretty much low at the moment, but it's a high low tide, so I didn't realise that until I started walking. It doesn't matter, I'll still get around to where I've got to go. One day I've got to get up to that, that peak up here. I can walk in from the left hand side and then get up to the top. Apparently, it's doable, people have done it before. The islands out here, I don't know what they are. I'm going to get, get energetic when I get home and edit this, so I might look them up, but otherwise I'm not really, I don't really care what they are. Oh well, I'm going to put this away and just go over and it's pretty, just as tricky getting down off this, this little uh, spike as it is getting up here. Well, I got down from the top. It's, Pretty wet, we've got that storm down here last night, which is going to be pretty good. Maybe there might be some water coming over Paradise Falls. Maybe I didn't have to carry nine litres of water with me. But I'm not going to tip it out yet because I don't know what's going to happen around there. So where I am now is in Bowen's Cavern of Doom. I ran across this last time I was uh, filming Paradise Falls. A mate of mine came and camped in here, and Ty came in and near drowned him, he lost all his gear. And he got out unscathed, but he'll never do it again. And no one else, I don't think, will ever do it. Things like this you've got to be careful of. Where you camp, what's around you. If there's creeks, if there's rain nearby, especially if you're in a creek and you get a good storm up in the catchment area. Yeah, just be careful if you're in the bush. Don't try and add a new adventure. I'll just have a rest here for a couple of minutes and then keep heading north. Oh, it's getting warm. I'm sweating all over. Uh, don't know what time it is. Probably about nine o'clock, I suppose. I've been taking it very slowly up here. Normally only a couple of hour walk up there with a, with a day pack. All going good. But I got plenty of time. We don't have to get there until mid-afternoon. We'll get there. In, I'll get there before lunch anyway. It's not far now. Okay, I'm just gonna have a rest and uh, we'll get back filming shortly. I've well, just got up to uh, Paradise Falls. It was just a hundred metres up in front of me. Yet, and I'm just looking around for a place to pitch my hammock. And just in the bushes here, and there's a fair few actually. Nice spots to uh, pitch your hammock between the trees. 
So I'll look around up further, closer to the falls. If I don't find anything, this will be the perfect spot, I think. And if a, if a storm comes in, pretty well protected. There's a lot of, lot of growth. That's back towards the ocean. A lot of trees around there, palm trees. And we've got the hill just in here. So I'm pretty well protected from any storm. I think this will be the perfect spot if I don't find anything better, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay, I might go for a walk up towards the falls and uh, see if there's any water there. And I'll come back here and start filling up. I've got to come back again next year with uh, friends, one of whom that loaned me the uh, hammock. And uh, yeah, I know, where, I know where to set up now. That'll suit all of us. Oh. Nice breeze coming through. Should be nice and nice and nice temperature tonight when I'm sleeping or trying to sleep. I haven't slept in a hammock for since I was a kid actually. Nice backdrop to that real estate isn't it? Spider. I've got a piece of Paradise Falls and I'm just sitting in front of it now and to my prediction I was right there's not there's not a skirk of water coming down that face not a drop I'm glad I bought me uh, eight litres a nine nine a bit litre water litres of water if I took the chance and was relying on this, I'd have been horribly mistaken. I'd have been horribly thirsty by tomorrow. No, there's not a, not a skirt of water in it. Which is bad because I was, I was hoping to get a bit of a cool off there. But we haven't had the rain, so that's what you get when you don't get rain. You just use waterfall. Now look, I'll go back to my gear and have a bite to eat and uh, set up my, my uh, hammock. Now you're sitting here with the spiders. Plenty of ammo around too, by the way. No one just in there. I, just in there, I took off myself just before. Some more cicadas up there singing to me. Just going to uh, set up my uh, hammock now, just between two palm trees I've got here. So, see how we go.
Well, I'm inside the tent, it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, I, just, I might, I'll still put the three meter tarp up, and this uh, small one that comes over this, I might set it up for my gear tonight, just in case that storm does hit. It's predicted to hit, so I want to keep it as dry as possible. But yeah, it's quite comfortable in here. I have to buy one. Yeah, I've got a mosquito net that goes right around. Keep all the insects out. Got a bit of breeze coming through. Not as much as I thought there would be, but that's okay. I think it might be laying the wrong way. I'll just try it this way. Yeah, that's better. Oh well, we'll find out tonight if this is, is a good idea. And uh, yeah, if it is, I'll have to buy one. Just to waste more money on bushwalking gear and camping gear. Yeah, I, mean, I, think, I don't think it's any lighter than the tent I've got, but uh, yeah. I'll have, to, I'll have to weigh it all up to find out. I'll do that when I get home. Oh well, I'll get out and uh, set this other tarp up. Hammock tarp set up so I can throw the gear under it tonight if it starts to rain. It keeps everything dry. But uh, yeah, the first time I set it up, uh, do a little bit of time to do it. But it should be alright. And. Uh, might just go down the beach now and have a sit down there and uh, have a few photos. And come back for lunch. That's where my camp is, up in there, somewhere. 
Ah. Yeah, you can see it that close to there. That's nice to get in the way. No one could see me. That's your cicada playing the music. Be hundreds in, in there. You, the, the noise that they're making is just un unbelievable sometimes. Just going to go for a walk over to this point over here, just over at the end of that uh, that goes around the corner. Just going to just going to do that before. Oh, it's just after probably one o'clock now. I'm just going to go over there now. It uh, looks like that storm is going to come in. Where it, where it's going to hit, I don't know. But. Uh, yeah, just go for a walk over there and have a look and I'll be able to look back further over the hill and see where the storm is from that point. I haven't been over, like I said, I haven't been over there before so go for a walk and have a quick look. Well, the storm is coming in, you can see that behind me. And also up there, it's pretty, getting pretty black now, so probably won't hit for a couple of hours. I can't, I can't hear the, uh, the thunder or anything, so go for a little bit longer and then I'll have to turn around and go back. Or I'll get caught up here. So I've decided to go back. It's going to take me a little bit of time. I'm on volcanic rock and they're pretty big boulders, so by the time I climb over them. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get to where I'm going. And it's starting to look pretty, look like it might rain. So I'm heading back. As I'm walking back there's a few spots of rain hitting me. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get any better. But uh, yeah, it's just a few spots. I've got my gear laying around so I want to get back and actually pick that up and put it away. I haven't got too far to go now. Well, I made it back to my campsite in plenty of time. It's just the drizzle stopped for the moment. So hopefully that's all it's going to be. But if it's not, and the brakes, I've come down here and they're in the prediction of a thunderstorm, so I guess we'll see what happens. It's only for one night anyway, so it won't matter. I'll just wait here a little bit longer and then if it starts to get starts to rain I'll stop and hop in the uh, hammock. Just been laying in my hammock uh, listening to the thunder. It's getting quite dark actually. I had a bit of a nap and the continual thunders I don't know if it wakes me up or I just got sick of sleeping. But uh, yes, the uh, sun's gone down. It's re really uh, cloud covered now. But the thunder's out over the ocean, I don't think we'll get any. Just have to wait all... Wait and see what happens, I think. Let's go for a bit of a walk now towards the beach. There's... Just a lot of thunder out over the ocean. But so far we haven't got anything yet. Just have to wait and see what happens. My well, setup feels okay. Like I say, I just had a bit of a sleep, bit of a sleep in there. I'll blow them up. I'll uh, drop that tarp down a little bit. Just 
just in case it does rain and blows in a little bit. But uh, the wind, wind should die down shortly, hopefully. It's about 20 to 5 now and it's getting quite dark, so I might put tea on early before it gets too dark and uh, have that. And uh, that'll get that job over and done with. And wait for this storm that may not come. There's a spot of uh, spots coming down at the moment. I can feel them every now and then. But it's out over the ocean, this storm, so we won't get anything here of that. Might get some light rain later. That'll be about it. I might just go and have my tea now. I'll put it on and get that over and done with. It's not exciting, it's only a faster dish. I feel a few more spots of rain. Okay, till then, you don't want to see me cook or eat, so I'll switch off. We just come for a walk down to the beach. Well, it's not really the beach, down to the shore. And, uh, yeah, it's a little pretty, pretty dismal out there, but like I say, a bit of thunder there, which is out over the ocean. So, yeah, we're not going to get anything here. I think the sun has been going on for an hour or so. That should be good. Well, it's about 25 past 5. And yeah, as you can hear, it's raining. So I'm just back in the uh, hammock. I don't know how long this rain will go on for. It's not very heavy. So this will be where I'll stay for the duration, I think. Oops, there's your light, there's your light. So I've got a, actually got a solar light on at the moment. Because it's that dark in here, so I'll take the solar light away. It goes black. There's been a few good claps of thunder for the cooking me meal. But uh, that's all gone now and it's just uh, steady rain. So I don't know how long. So I'll sign off now and uh, if it stops in the next hour I'll log it out and have a walk around. Other than that I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, morning all. It's about uh, oh, quarter past five at the moment and we've just come down to the water's edge to see what the sky was like been listening to thunder for the last hour the cicadas are loving it but uh doesn't look too bad above me uh even got the moon in the sky there somewhere out over the ocean out over the islands it's that's where the thunder and the clouds are but above me it's pretty good so I'm quite happy with that I was uh, expecting to walk home in the rain but I might, might be able to uh, walk home dry this should be good looks like it's going to be a pleasant day well I packed up and uh, going home a little bit early because Oh, it's because of the thunder. We're not going to get it. It's actually a beautiful day out here at the moment. But I'm just going to go home early. I can't do exactly what I want to do. No such as Paradise Falls. It is dry. So I'm just going to go back early now and uh, yeah, take a leisurely walk back. The tide's not fully out, so there's a couple of places that I'll uh, might get stuck for half an hour. So until then, I'll... Uh, stop filming and see what happens up the road. So I've got so far along and uh, the spot that I thought I was going to get caught at there still has got plenty of water over it although I haven't got there yet but I've had to climb up I'm supposed to walk down there but uh, couldn't do that so I came up higher and I'll just go to the other side of that rock and then down I walk along to that where that rock is 
leaning up against the tree and then I'll just have to wait there for a while. It's going to be uh, too hard. I'll have to go through the water and I don't want to do that so I'll just wait there. The sun's in the wrong spot isn't it? This is a spot I thought I'd get caught at. There's still a bit of water here. A few uh, big waves come in every now and then so I might just go down and have a look and just see if I can get through. I hope that tide's not coming in, it shouldn't be. It should be going out. A long way to go yet before I can get through there. Just dropped the curb drop down off over there. And uh, just took a fair bit of water. So I'll sit back here for now and wait for the tide to come to the feed. Yeah, I've just gone, gone and had a look at the, um, the crossing there and it looks okay. I just have to wait for the waves uh, so I don't get wet feet. But yeah, it's looking good at the moment. so. I'm going to attempt it. That looks good. So I bathed about half an hour and uh, yeah, all good. Well, I got across there okay without getting my feet wet. Just waited for the uh, right wave and then jumped across. So by the time I get back to the next um, piece it should be flooded, it, well uh, it should have receded by then so I'll be right with that one. So it's pretty well aimed with it down now. So I've just come over, I've just come over the, the first uh, knob that I've walked over in the beginning and I just sort of negotiate around, around these waterways, around these rocks, keep out of the water. And my vehicle's just just behind that big rock in front of us. So I just gotta follow this case going around and I'm I'm back and then we'll I'll be a bit of climbing over volcanic rock but not a great deal. Just gonna sit up here for a little bit and uh, enjoy the view and wait for the tide to go a little bit more. We're going to end this YouTube now and uh, if you're liking my uh, hiking and what I'm doing please subscribe and like at the same time and uh, also ring the bell. Subscribing costs nothing so you might as well just show me that you uh, appreciate what I'm doing or what I'm trying to, trying to do. So until then, if you're out in the bush, be safe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. That's a car to get a bit bad.